Welcome to the Smite tutorial. Your objective is to defeat the Titan in the enemy base. To do this, you will need to destroy the enemy's defenses. In Smite, you control gods and immortals, powerful beings capable of great destruction. Each has its own unique abilities and fighting style. In this tutorial, you will control Neith, the Egyptian weaver of fate. Now, let's practice navigation. Move to the waypoint near your Titan. Use the left and right stick to get there. Well done! Your next waypoint is outside of your base near your Phoenix. Move there now. Fantastic! You are now in the lane. Use the right stick to aim, then fire your bow when you're ready. Impressive! Each time you slay an enemy or destroy an objective, you gain experience or XP. Gain enough XP and you will level up, allowing you to unlock abilities. Unlock Spirit Arrow, Neath's first ability. Great! Now use the Spirit Arrow ability to attack the minions. Spirit Arrow is a line attack that can strike multiple enemies within its highlighted area. Use the targeter to help direct you when casting your abilities. With the target visible, press the trigger button to fire. You've taken a lot of damage and need to replenish your health. Teleport back to the fountain now. Within the fountain, gods will rapidly gain health and restore their mana. Welcome home. Gold can be used to purchase items from your team's item store, but only when this view is your recommended list and shows items most likely to help you in your role. One of these items is Light Blade, which increases your damage and the speed of your basic attacks. Select the item Light Blade. Great! You can also purchase active items. Active items can be used like abilities, but don't require mana. Select the item Hand of the Gods to purchase it now. Finally, let's buy a consumable item. Unlike active items, consumable items can only be used once. Very good. These items will help you in your battles. Remember, there are other views in the shop. You can also use the filters to search for items that grant specific passive benefits. Now that you've collected your equipment, let's explore the jungle. The jungle is a term used for the paths on either side of the lane. While in the jungle, your visibility is reduced and you can't see the enemies as far away. This is a jungle camp. Jungle camps provide powerful buffs to the gods who defeat them. Your active item, Hand of the Gods, will help you to quickly defeat this camp. Use the active item, Hand of the Gods, to clear the jungle camp. When you defeat this camp, collect the buff that drops to the ground. Well done! That buff will help you do a lot more damage. You've taken some damage. Use the consumable health potion now. Oh dear, it looks like one of your allies, Odin, is rushing the enemy tower. By attacking without support, Odin will surely fail. Be wary around towers, as they will come to the defense of friendly gods attacked under them. It's time to join the fight. Your tower is under attack from enemy minions. Go there now and defeat them. Friendly minions are here to help. Stay behind them so they can take the brunt of the battle. Now, push the fight to the enemy tower. Remember to stay behind your minions so that they take the brunt of the tower's attack. If the tower targets you, fall back out of range. Look out! 
The enemy god Emir has joined the fight. Enemy gods are a greater threat and are usually controlled by enemy players. You should defeat this god before moving on. First blood. Ahead is the enemy Phoenix, which can only be damaged by your basic attack. Once destroyed, all of your minions in this lane will spawn with upgraded weapons and deal more damage. Unlike towers, a phoenix will eventually respawn. Destroy the enemy phoenix, but remember to let your minions leave. You are almost there. Storm into the enemy base and destroy their titan to win. You have won your first game. Next, you should try some co-op games against non-player gods, or if truly brave, against other players. After each match, you will be presented with your rewards for battle. Favor is granted to you upon completion of your match. It is used to acquire many things, including additional gods and skins. Worshippers are gained for the particular god that you are playing during the match. Increasing your worshippers grants you mastery levels that allow you to access exclusive content for that god. Experience is gained for time spent in a match. Gaining enough experience advances the player to the next level, which comes with a nice favor bonus. Accolades are a listing of your special accomplishments during the match. There are additional screens accessible from these buttons that will give you further details about your match. Pressing the home button returns you to the game lobby when you are ready to leave your match. <laughs> 